Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you a simple way to create realistic explosions using pyro. In this very simple scene, I have a small sphere, which I've moved here to the side. I have a plane, which I'm going to use as a floor collider. I have a cube, which is 100 by 100 by 100, and I've pulled it up slightly off the ground. And finally, I've put it under a Voronoi fracture. And the only thing I've done is I went to the source, the point generator, and I increased the point amount to 100. So we have more fragments. So first of all, go to the sphere and go and add from the simulation tags a pyro emitter. I do not want any density. Or I want only temperature. And I'm going to go to frame one. I'm going to keyframe the enabled. Then go to frame two. Disable this and add a keyframe. So I'm going to get an instantaneous little burst of temperature. There you go. It just does that little puff over there. Fantastic. Now let's go to the plane and right click, go to the simulation tags and add a collider. And I'm going to turn it off because it's distracting. Now I'm going to go to the Voronoi fracture object. And here I'm going to go to the simulation tags and I'm going to add some pyro fuel. Now I'm going to go all the way down to where it says fuel. And I'm going to set the fuel type from continuous to contingent. And there is a quick tip that shows how to make explosions. I'm just going to increase the burning rate to 100 so my explosion is a bit more violent. Excellent. Now, if I rewind and press play, you will see that the temperature ignites the fuel and the whole thing burns in place. But that doesn't look like an explosion, especially if we go further back. It looks just like something catching on fire. And that's not very impressive. So let's rewind. What I'm going to do is go to the Voronoi fracture, right click, and in the simulation tags, I'm going to make this a rigid body so that each one of the Voronoi fragments is going to become a rigid body. Now you'll see that this now is going to fall apart, but still we don't get anything remotely interesting, unless this is what you're trying to do. So we just need to do one more thing. I'm going to go to the project settings into the simulation and pyro. And uh, what I need to do is adjust a few settings. The first one is fluid force factor. When I increase this to a very small amount, 0 0.001, then the velocities from the pyro are going to affect the rigid body. So let me rewind, press play, and you will see that now we're getting something a bit more interesting. But let me change a few more settings just to make it that much more interesting. So let's rewind and I'm going to go all the way down to the fuel combustion. Set the temperature per fuel to 15,000 so we get uh, higher temperatures and the pressure per fuel to 5 units so we get a bit more violent explosions. And now rewind, press play and there you have it. You have your realistic explosion which is nice and erratic and of course you can go and turn off the Voronoi fracture pieces if you don't want them rendered and maybe even the sphere just to make the effect a bit more invisible rewind press play and here it is if you enjoy our quick tips please like comment subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip